Mm-mm. Oh, hello there. Dan Wendt with Nerdy and Bert. Welcome to Brewing with Nerdy and Bert. In this ongoing series, we explore how Nerdy and Bert is innovating to change the process of winemaking. In this, the fourth of our seven-part series, we explore how to, how to cork a bottle of wine. In our winemaking process, we have now bottled 28 bottles of wine. But the next step is the corking. Please show us the corking, Dan. So I can take one bottle, fill it up to about right here where my pinky is, place it on the table. Now you take, here is a standard corker. This is a device for inserting the cork. You take one cork, you stick it in this part of the corker, so it goes down, and you'll see that this lever will push down eventually and apply the pressure to cork the bottle. So we take the corker, and we put it right on top, and we apply some pressure. Push it down, and it's done. And there's a corked bottle of wine. Well, I hope you found that short video informative. Before we go, I'd like to let you know one more way you can be a part of Nerdy and Bert's winemaking process. If you're looking for a name for this wonderful fruit-flavored Chardonnay, and in fact, you can play a role in naming this wine. If you go to www.nerdyandbert.com wiki, you will see a link where we will be taking your suggestions for the name of our newest non-product. In fact, the winner, the person who chooses the name of the wine that we end up selecting for this Nerdy and Bert non-product, will end up getting a free bottle of wine. Well, that's all for this time. Be sure to join us next time for the fifth installment of our seven-part series in which we explore Nernie and Bert's new wine cellar hidden beneath, beneath the earth in an ancient coal mine. Till then, drink responsibly, and remember that at N and B, we put the N and the B in brewing.